ladies and gents, it's me, Messina Diva, and I haven't done a tag in forever, but I was tagged by my sis Glam Shade. It's actually long overdue, and I was reminded when I saw my other sis, Black China Bear, do this video, and everybody knows I'm a lip junkie. If you don't know that by now, where have you been? So yes, I am a lip product addict. I used to love eyeshadow back in the day, but as you guys can see, that's changed. Um, I love lippies. The lippy I have on right now is actually um, Pin Up LA Girl Lip uh, LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint. I just did a video, a swatch video on it. I don't know if it'll be posted before or after this, but make sure and check it out. So let's go ahead and get into this video because I don't want it to be super, super long. I know you guys aren't a fan of extra long videos. Sorry about that if it is going to be long. Hopefully it'll be short. Okay, so number one, if I'm looking down, looking at my phone, um, number one, what is your favorite balm or treatment? My favorite balm at the moment is still the Baby Lips. I also have a few from Soft, soft Lips that I like. This is just the clear formula in the blue package. And as far as lip treatment, I also have a few favorite lip treatments, but my all-time favorite, if you've watched some of my older videos, hi to my new subscribers if I have any, um, is the Mentha Lip Buffer by C.O. Bigelow. It's 100% natural mint, and it's a lip buffer. You just put it on, and then you use a warm towel to take it off. You can actually get this at Bath & Body Works. I don't know if they still carry it. If they do, I will certainly put a link down below. But this one is my all-time favorite. I just love it so much. It has peppermint oil in it, shea butter, um, you name it. Love this product. My newfound favorite is pretty recent. I got it in a Sephora birthday gift about a year or two years ago. It comes in a set of three, but this is the one I could find. It's the Sugar Rose by a brand called Fresh. And it, this one is actually a um, tinted lip treatment. I know you guys have probably seen these products. They work amazing. And I will unscrew it here. And this is the tinted one. But this one makes your lips feel so, so soft. So definitely uh, check those two products out. You will love them. So the next question is, what is your favorite eye-catching red? Of course, everyone is going to say Ruby Woo or Riri Woo. Um, I have Riri Woo, but I lost it. I'm so sad about that. I really loved that um, lipstick. But my favorite eye-catching red would have to be none other than OCC Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, the Lip Tar in NSFW. I will try to find a picture from the swatch video I did about a year back on this um uh, this particular lippy, but it's called, um, you probably won't be able to read it because it's probably rubbed off by now, but it's called, it's actually backwards, NSFW, which is not safe for work. This red is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue base red. Anybody that wears this, it will be eye-catching on them. I kid you not. You guys need to add this to your collection. This is the older packaging of the OCC lip tars, but this red, amazing. Number three, the best luxury and drugstore lip product. Okay, so I have um, some luxury lipsticks like YSL, Essay Lauder. Strangely enough, I don't really wear those, so I won't even show those. But I guess the best luxury uh, lipstick that I have right now, which is the most recent, would probably be uh, Viva Glam Rihanna from MAC. Can't really, I can't remember how much it was, and maybe a little bit more than normal because of the packaging. But it comes in a red tube, of course, the typical matte tube. It smells like vanilla, of course. It's, I love it because it's red, but it has some gorgeous shimmer. I'll try to put some pictures of me in it, but it, you would think it would look weird because of the micro glitters, but it's gorgeous, and of course, Rihanna's signature is on it. So that's definitely my, uh, Best luxury lipstick would be Viva Glam. Let's see if I can show you guys. None other than Viva Glam Rihanna. 
So my best drugstore lippy, I used to really love uh, Wet n Wild lippies, but I haven't worn them recently. My favorite hands down drugstore uh, lip products would have to be all of the Milani lip products. Um, the color statement lipsticks to be exact, I have all 33 of them. Actually, I think there may be 40 now, so I need to go ahead and pick those up. But um, my favorite shade out of the Milani drugstore lipstick is definitely uh, Sangria, which is almost all gone. It's all the way at the bottom. It's a beautiful color, though, and it's number 21. Sangria. Favorite uh, drugstore lippy. And I also love a uh, red label. And the pink one, which is Rose Hip, which I don't have with me. Next is the best MAC lipstick. Well, I guess I just showed you guys a MAC lipstick, but my best MAC lipstick would have to be Flat Out Fabulous. I'm sure you guys have heard everyone rant and rave about how awesome of a pink this is. It took a while for this to grow on me because at first I'm like, why doesn't it appear bold like it does on everyone else? But um, this color is so gorgeous. Um, I believe, it, yeah, it's a matte. It's a matte. I'll put in the annotations what uh, finish Viva Glam Rihanna was. It may have been a satin. I'm not sure. But yeah, my best MAC lipstick is definitely uh, flat out fabulous. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous matte pink. It comes in the standard MAC packaging. So the next question is my most disappointing lip product and that's actually pretty easy it was hard at first but i thought about it and hands down it's the clean color femme lipsticks i have them in like all the colors well not all but i have two three four five six of them i just can't get into these the packaging is so cute it makes you really really want them but they appear splotchy on my lips i even tried the blue one but these, I just really can't get into them. They even have cute names like Magic Lime, Purple Machine. but And they were all the crave a while ago. But I, someone tell me why you like these. Like I just, I don't like them. I like the packaging. Um, I'll wear them. Rarely have, but I don't like the application of them. Next question says, lip liner, yes or no? Um, I don't have any lip liner on now, but... During the week, I like to wear lip liner if I'm wearing a shade that needs, you know, that extra added um, piece, I guess. Because for some reason, it looks really, really clownish sometimes when you don't wear lip liner. Yeah, so it just depends on what lipstick um, I'm wearing that day. Um, the next one, number seven, favorite gloss. Um, I have lots of glosses, but it seems like I haven't been wearing them lately. But my favorite one at one point was the Black Radiance Illusion Slip Gloss. Not this particular shade. I don't have the shade that I like, but I feel like it gives really good coverage for a gloss. It's very um, affordable and expensive. Um, and it has the little like doe foot applicator. And it's very, very pigmented. I really like it. Then it will be followed by the Xena Diva Glaze. Not sure if they still make these, but this one is lovely um, it provides this gorgeous gorgeous uh, color over top any lipstick so definitely this one I've talked about it before in a faves video and the last one will be the laugh out loud by um, can't think of the name but uh, I don't have it with me I had it but somehow I misplaced it and so those are my favorite gloss I also like the Milani the 3d lip gloss those are pretty nice too Last one, it, question is something else. So we're supposed to talk about something else. Can't think of anything else to talk about besides the fact that I am a lip junkie. But I know what I'll do. I'll try to put a clip of some of my lippies just to sh show you how deep my obsession is with uh, lippies. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you Glam Shay, my sister, for tagging me. Love her channel. Please go check it out. Um, thank you Black China Bear also. And make sure to check out her video as well. I'm going to be tagging a few people because I'm going to get back into tags. 
Um, what I'll do is leave the names down below in the description box because I'd like to know what your favorite lippies are. Thanks. Bye.